you doing? Just doing a quick little update on the old third gen. So, as you know, we were getting the Sparco in here. Uh, Mr. Dan came over, thanks man, and uh, we went ahead and started building this mount. We're going to try to use the factory mounts, but it put the seat way too high. My head, even with my out with my helmet, was touching the headliner, so obviously it wasn't going to work. So what we ended up doing is I have these universal Sparco brackets, um, ordered those offline, and they just come as two individual rails, which in my opinion were super duper chinzy. So what I ended up doing is we ended up welding a cross brace between the two rails um, to hold those obviously a lot more secure so it's not going to walk. And then what we did is we utilized the front two holes in the bracket, which worked out perfect on the third gen. I didn't have to do anything. And then the back, we welded a brace between the two bottom uh, rails. I drilled holes in the rails, uh, slug welded both sides, welded both faces. Um, so that brace is mounted to the stock studs through the floor. And then I got carriage bolts, stuck carriage bolts up through the top slider to bolt the uh, top side brackets on. I had to cut the back ones down a little bit because I have the seat rolled back just a little bit lower in the booty because that's how these seats sit to get you from not breaking your back, right? So it uh, it all should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in here and then uh, I'll show you what the final product looks like. There you go, there's the uh, the old final seat install. I got, my, got the wheel in there, got the seat in there shoulders right at the top of door level so like i said i'm sitting at about inch and three quarter lower than the uh than the stock seat did so it feels good i'm excited so let's uh let's throw the helmet on and check the old clearance right now because i got the the hat with the weave and i still got plenty of plenty of room there so ready and there we go so you know nice uh nice room not uh obviously out here it hits, but out in here, I'm not hitting or dragging, so I'm happy with it. So now with my helmet on, um, my old melon's not just rubbing up there looking like, I don't know, a bobblehead. So I have like this much room before the helmet touches. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.